Hey there, fellow citizens of the internet. My name is Moses and I'm coming to you in the Tesla Model Y. Let's try this, we're going 45 miles an hour. I'm gonna tap it, okay? So it's engaged, auto steer is engaged, or autopilot is engaged. And as you can see, my feet are not on the accelerator and the car is just moving all by itself. And it's, saying it's, it's going at 40, 50 miles an hour um, even though the speed limit is 45. So that is quite interesting here. Um, I'm paying attention to the street as the car is driving. This is my very first experience with autopilot. So this is, oh my goodness, it's a little scary. It's a little scary. I'm trusting that the car knows what it's doing. I've test driven the Tesla Model 3 about a year ago, uh, and not a lot has changed since then. Now, I just wanna say that the biggest change that I noticed from going, uh, from driving a standard gasoline internal combustion vehicle to, to an electric vehicle um, is the regenerative braking. Yeah, I know out of all this technology and all these other things, the, regener the regenerative braking is the biggest one for me uh, because I'm just so used to slowing down using my brakes but with this car as soon as you let go of the accelerator the car you know brakes um, now I know that you can adjust that in the settings so that the braking is not as, as harsh you can you can adjust it you can adjust the sensitivity to it but it is still quite a major uh, adjustment um, so what do I think about the Model Y. I would say that the Model Y is, well, obviously a bigger cousin of the Model 3, a bigger brother of the Model 3. Um, and for me, personally, I don't think I would, I don't think I would get it if I could afford it, that is. Um, if I could buy it in cash, I don't, I don't, I don't think I would get this vehicle. Uh, it's very simple, very elegant, which is really good. The driving experience is amazing. And I was playing around with the uh, auto steer, autopilot earlier on. Okay, so somehow, for some reason, it's disengaging even though the, the lights are green. Oh, okay, okay. I, I just had to tap on the accelerator to let it know, hey, keep going. Wow, okay, that's, that's really good. That is really good. Okay, so we're coming up to a red light here and I can see that the car sees that it's red, right? So that reassures me. Okay, there you go. Wow. And right, perfectly right on the lines. Hey, sorry for interrupting your video. I just wanna say thank you for clicking on the video, liking it and subscribing so that you can help others find it. Anyways, back to the drive. I don't think it would be something that I would actually buy for myself uh, for a daily drive no why is that um, for one I think that the vehicle is I don't know something is not like calling my name when I when I drive it it sits up decently high it sits up decently high that's really good it uh, it's very comfortable to drive now the cabin noise I gotta say the cabin noise is a little bit too much. I would expect it to be a little bit quieter, especially given the the price point, right? I am not a Tesla hater. I actually love this. This the Model Three was my dream car for a minute until the new Tesla Model S updates came out. I, I cannot wait for that interior. Definitely cannot wait for that interior. But as far as this interior, this is great. This is a great interior and uh, everything is everything is minimal minimal everything is minimal no third row on this one uh, everything is minimal everything is decently elegant it is simple to a fault to be honest it's it's, a, it's almost a little bit too simple um, all you have is a screen a steering wheel and some pedals and you don't get to use one of the pedals um, but you know simplicity is key when it comes to uh, when, it, when it comes to good products. So who is the Model Y for? I would say that if you have a small family, right? It's you, your husband, your wife, and a kid or two. Um, 
it's good. There is charging stations everywhere for these kinds of vehicles. There's there are incentives for getting electric vehicles. Um, so yeah, if you have a small family, you know this this would be a good a good car for you. Uh, if you're just a single guy like me, no kids, a Model Three would do just fine. Anyways, this has been a quick look a quick test drive of the tesla model y my name is moses and uh, hopefully i can get my hands on a tesla someday and i can't wait to share that with you anyways i'll uh, catch you in the next video peace